Hello and welcome to Kitty Plays Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. So last time when we left off, I was wondering where this Alina Sarandas guy was that we have now lots of quests for, and I promised to check out his location, and if I remembered wrongly, and actually I did remember correctly, he is in, so I, I have this quick save, I have made a save game, I went all the way to Aldrune, so checked with the construction kit, went all the way to Aldrune, went in his house, and actually that's the place where he is, and I did use a little command which resets the character, and then I remembered, well, wait, when he's gone it means that we killed him, and it means that we already did the quest for that, for that other guy. So I'm not going to cheat him back into the game to do the quests for the other people he owes stuff to, but instead I'm going to go back to where we left off last episode, and I'm going to uh, check if we sold, if we took all that stuff from his body, sold it off to the pawnbroker, because if so, the pawnbroker should still have that in his inventory, we can buy it back and get the quests done. Else we'll just head off and do other quests. And ignore those. I mean, we killed that guy and we didn't fetch the stuff, so I think it's only fair that we then call these quests failed. <sighs> Fresh beverage. And there we go. So as you see, we're still in front of Ghostgate after we escorted that lady. I know that droning sound is... this is all drowning sound is gone. Um, okay, that was... that's a coincidence. I didn't want to um, open the magic or ready my magic. I actually wanted to rest, try to rest to heal my health. But instead, I'm just going to kill that annoying Silstrider, which has a long way to fall down after I electrocuted him. Let's take all that stuff and let's see how far we have to go until we can rest. Silstrider is everywhere. I'm pretty sure we need to kill that one before we yes before we can actually rest. So now we no longer have a working spell thing. I don't want to use any potions, and I doubt we actually have some. Sorry. That's the downside of um, caffeinate, uh, not caffeinated, they are caffeinated. It is caffeinated beverage. That's the downside of carbonated beverage. You have to expel air. Well, anyhow, another... Let's see. Two of them, another one is floating from there. But as you can see, this even trains us our skill. And no, I'm not afraid to name the beverage, even though I'm not sponsored by them. This is a Fritz Cola. A cola made from a company in Hamburg, Germany. And it is really awesome, especially the white sword, the one with the white label, because that's the sugar-free Fritz Cola, and sugar-free means it has artificial sweeteners, and usually I taste artificial sweeteners very strongly. Just pick up some crap that we can sell later. Um, and with Fritz Cola I don't. So this is uh, one of the reasons I like it so much. It is basically like um, a light cola, which has, doesn't have any ugly taste. It tastes just, to me at least, exactly like the regular one. And then let me just do this. Because we need to also shoot some sparks into the air without hitting anything. My rest has been interrupted by a rat. Mr. Rat, this is your electrocution. It was even diseased. No, we are not diseased. There is no 
additional status effect upon us. So let us rest again. Yeah. We are heading back to Aldrun. This is the safe game where I did not resurrect the guy, as I mentioned earlier. And another red. All these reds are easy to dispose of. All enemies. Ah. Another one of these annoying things. Be gone, fiend. Or, as they say, die, fetcher! Ah, seems to have worked. Okay. Note to self, talk in in-game phrases. There's another one, I guess, is that one. Which shows off the awesome AI in this game. Which is very, very good at maneuvering the terrain. Not. There we go. I've read him by first, the other one right too. Tune a little bit because the game is so loud I nearly don't hear myself. Which might mean I might shout in your ears and I want to spare you that experience. Another swig from the bottle later. There is a storm. You guys, I mean, let me get out the magic, and of course, immediately, as soon as we are in the storm, we immediately get lost and walk the wrong way. I want to go to Aldrin, this means I need to follow this road instead of the other one. Even more of you. It was something like I gained to something, it was too fast for me to actually read. Well, you know what? Let's not care too much. Let's just wait. Ah, that's just the route. Okay, it seems like we were on the right route. It's just the route to the Sudanet mine. Well, let's get some more trauma rude. I might actually start picking up alchemy at some point again. Which I will be doing mostly off stream and keeping a little kind of recipe book so I don't have to read all the effects of the ingredients all the time that I want to do alchemy. But for now, I'm picking all of these just to sell them, just to get a little bit more money. Because. It must be funny in a rich man's world. We don't even hit that cliff racer now. Let me see if this doesn't check. We are a mage after all, so this actually works. And rest until healed. How about rest until the storm is over? This is a really annoying storm. Switch to the local map. I think we want to go that way. It also seems like this is a route we haven't taken yet, which is kind of weird. Isn't this the route that we have escorted the woman across? I actually don't know because I can't see anything through this sandstorm. I'm actually going to be very happy once we are back in some kind of house or once the storm clears off. All this sand is going to be a pain to clear out of my fur. I think the, the message with the two was you have gathered two of this particular item. Let's spark this. Spark this in death claw, I think. Is the... My weapon does not have any effect. No, that's very unfortunate. Let's first. Okay, this one is pretty strong. Now we don't have anything to restore our magicka. 
so we're just going to oh, don't want to load. That's that's really bad because I am forced to load. I mean, I could ha have healed. Yes, I know, but that's not what I want to do because I would have been in the same situation before, like before. Okay, I admit it, I am lost. I need to go north. I think all this resource gathering is causing me to get disoriented. Oh, it saved before I rested, okay. There we go. And rest again until healed. Take care, good team. With no hide. Until healed, I say. So I think we should have. Ah, okay. My pause was due to the music being so silent that I thought it stopped, and the game switched to the combat music, and I was looking for an enemy that attacks us. So this is where you want to go. No, it isn't. It's it's the same the same ruse than before. Let me check. This is where you want to go. So let us just first dispose of this cliff racer, who of course immediately attacks us and flies out of the way. But luckily we have two attacks before we need to heal. Yeah, rest interrupted by this guy. I don't care, you can just walk on. I don't need your... Whatever you drop. This is a very, very long storm. We're going to be very sandy when we come back. Going to take a long bath. I should have added that that a bathhouse mod or looked for that bathhouse mod maybe I'm going to actually add it in between two recording sessions this this rat should be no match for this dagger thing even though it was diseased and there is some meat That's, that seems to be the correct route. The corpses tell me that I'm on the right track. These seem to be my... my tracks. Could be though that we're, yeah, we're just right before the fort, which is right next to Aldrun. So this is the Legion Fort, and Aldrun should be over there. Yes, there is the waypoint signpost showing me the direction. Perfect. So I'm pretty happy that it's been silent enough because right before I started recording we had a little construction going on and I was afraid that the construction would still be going on when I was recording and there we are in the city again let's really quick head inside and check out so this was the Red in the pot, yeah. So as I said, there is a mod for a bathhouse in Balmora. I know I had that when I played Morrowind with lots of mods long, long ago.
but I don't know if the mod still exists because that was back when mm, I, I can't even remember where I got the mod from. It was before Nexus existed. There was this this other Morrowind mod page, which was just for Morrowind, and now nowadays the mods come from Nexus. You're using their mod installer called Vortex. So let's see. These the things that I'm looking for are actually marked I think they are actually these let me let me see uh, designer shoes designer shoes And brocade shirt and silk pants. I saw the brocade shirt, so brocade shirt, silk pants, fire jet amulet, racer sweet belt. I think, yep. Yeah. It still has all the these things, so I can just buy, try to buy them back. So it's that shirt. It's that. Come on, shirt. Fire Jade Amulet, and now we see that we are out of gold, so I'm going to try to sell all these things. Perfect. And then there is the Racer's Weight Belt. Was it the Silk Pants? I'm unsure. Well, let us... okay. I don't think we can barter him down to the amount that we have. No, the max sale would be... We the second. This is total sold, so it means we can still... Yeah, now it says total cost. Yeah, this is still, it's total cost, okay. I don't think I can... I could haggle down that far. I know this, basically, we are making a lot of, uh, how you say, we're losing a lot of money. That's what I, what I want to say. Um, but on the other hand, we can complete the quests. So let's see here. Actually, I should just check the journal. So the belt, and I don't even remember what I could buy and what I couldn't buy. So we have the Racer Sweet Belt. So this is for the trader called the amulet was Bivin Relath and Tirada Sadus. These two I can complete. My time is precious, so make it quick. I am very bad with names. I think we don't have the shirt and the pants right now, but I'm going to try. I this is the right you're button. For a tavern. I'm sure I nope, can. Nope, we don't. <sighs> I was just checking something on my phone. It is buzzing because uh, let me real quick turn off the the buzzing of my phone for non-important things. There we go. Um, let's say for a day. Okay. Nope. And then we need to find the traders. They could also be the traders outside, I think they are. I always need to remember that you can't do the shortcut here. Because you will get stuck in the bridge. Who is this? Very no. So it's only the people outside. Well, there we go. Back outside and it's back into the dang storm. My time is precious. Nope, it wasn't you. 
bad the clavier. And we got 25 gold for buying back these very expensive things. Hmm. And we're completing the quests and the people are going to hit us because we killed that guy. Which is a pity. We should have just, you know... Pickpocketed. That's the word. Pickpocketed him. I suppose it is my duty to help those. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Well. Yes. Everyone knows I killed that poor fool. And it actually Can did sound originally that he. that um, the pawnbroker wanted me to kill him when he doesn't pay up. So. No, there is no specific. So. We have completed that one. These two pair of splendid designer shoes with the light enchantment. Nope, they are not. I think I'm. Am I wearing them? Brocade shirt and silk pants. So I think completing these will be a very bad idea because it will drain our coffers and we are actually. actually aimed to make money instead of burn it. So let me get back, back to the list of things that I want to do. So there is that guy called Hiding Deep Raid who wants a potion of cure common disease. This actually sounds pretty good. Well, we won't get much money from that. Uh, Travis, I don't remember where he was. Healing the blight disease off of someone. The compassion quest from the temple. Let us see that about that. Mael Kashishi. So where is this where is this Mael Kashishi place? That's the question. Well, I think we should just do the easiest way to get money, which is going delving into the Dwarven Ruins again. And Edwina is actually holding a quest for that. So I think we're just going to do that. Get inside here. Ah, we already have the brocade shirt. Well, okay. If we find a trader who loves us, we can sell it for good money. So we need to go to the Dwemer ruin of Nchilafting because the last excavation report is long overdue. Where is Nchilakfutin? You can get there by going around the mountain near Surin and heading northeast along the Foyada Nadanat. Or you can start in Molagmar and head northwest to Mart's Mount Kand. Go north around Mount Kand and along the north side of the Foyada. Well, I think I'm going to try to go around the mountains near Surin and heading northeast. Let me check the map. That would be... Ah, there it is. Look at that. There it is. OK, 
Okay, so this means if we go to Belmora and then we can sell the cloth. And we can just walk over here somewhere, some, somewhere somehow um, towards Suran and then, or however it's pronounced, and then go there. Welcome, friend. The day is yours. What should we talk about? Oh, do you sell things? No, you don't. Well, let's head back to our good friend Ajira. Hi, Arendil. I want to travel and see my good friend Ajira. Thank you. Tidings and good wishes to you, friend. Tidings and good wishes to you, Masalini. Ajira, it's very good to see you. Good friend, this is an honor. Oh, likewise. Let me see, do you want to buy some clothing? I have this brocade shirt. Well, you don't buy it. Uh, too bad. Well, this means I need to go and see my other good friend, uh, Ravir, who is upstairs. And I also should go and see and have someone repair my stuff. Because the sword or the dagger, what is it? Is it, it is a short sword. Seems pretty half broken. Seems pretty worn. Storm in one city, rain in the other. You do know what rain does when you have um, all that dusty sand in your fur. It's going to stick so badly. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead inside. Uh, Ravir, please don't mind that all that mud in my fur. Mozzarella. I couldn't have a proper bath for a very long time. But I was thinking you were interested in this nice shirt. Maybe you're even giving me a little bit extra. You're not giving me a little bit extra. Now why not? We are good friends after all. Okay. Uh, out into the rain again. Uh, let's see if we can find an, a weaponsmith, trader, trader. This looks like a weaponsmith. Yes, well, it's an armor smith, but they can repair nonetheless. Please repair that stuff for me. The short sword is uh, very worn already. Thank you very much. Am I playing? I'm playing an armor. Okay. Now let's see. Now, first we go to the fields of Kumu. As we haven't been there, we're going to go there all on foot. There's a mix sound. Searching for something to eat in the soil. So there we go. The well known route again to the fort. This is on by. And into the Foyada Mamaka. Well, to be honest, I'd rather have the rain air, I'd rather have wet fur than sandy fur. Because sandy fur itches a lot. So let's see, we are heading more to the east. And then we should try heading northwards. Of 
course there is a lot to find when you leave the tracks but for now i'm going to also find lots on the tracks so there is Molagmar and Mount Kand, so this is one of the routes that was suggested to us. Very well. And here we see the other side of that Dwarf Ruin that we already explored. Let's take a nice look at it at this observatory that we sadly could not enter. And that's one thing that I actually I think it's very sad about these games that you can't interact with these old dwarven observatories because I think it would be very very interesting to actually check out all that dwarven tech and find out stuff about that. So if anyone knows a mod that does this just let me know in the comments and I think I'll gladly install that. Okay now let's rest. And while I'm resting, while my character is resting, you can have a little rest too, because this marks the end of our episode. So as always, I let the dice decide the fate, or actually, I have already rolled the dice 20 times for the last two episodes, so I'm just going to use the next dice roll. But for you, it's all the same. We'll let the dice decide the fate when the next episode will come out. And for now, I bid you farewell. Bye-bye.